Now, I was also at the Smoke Rider fire today. We learned that it burned three homes and a trailer, but fortunately, nobody was hurt. Now, I talked to a goat rancher who actually got the call yesterday that the pasture that his goats were grazing on was on fire, so he had to race back to save them. Keith Miller bought his first goat seven years ago. That was a birthday present for Rochelle. Now he has 120 in his herd at Hill Country Goats. These are meat goats, and so uh, I'm still building the herd. On Tuesday, the smoke rider fire threatened his livestock. I really got scared when I got to Oak Hill and I could see the smoke from Oak Hill. Smoke and fire bearing down on these 55 nanny goats. Miller raced to save them. What are you doing with your head in there, Goofy? There's plenty of stuff to eat on this side. I left one goat behind and one of my guardian dogs is still out there. Those 55 goats grazing across about 50 acres here at his friend's property now charred over. The lost lone goat survived, wandering the burned hillside. Shocked. Devastated. Jared Rossi grew up here, seeing it Wednesday for the first time since the smoke rider fire burned within feet of his childhood home. It was a little emotional, but it's it's done now and the houses are still here, so happy about that. Hot spots still smoking during the day, threatening to spark again and burn the dry vegetation. It was a little tough to get to most of them, but got what we saw, but I think most of them are out at this point. The fire burning through the grass Tuesday normally kept short by Miller's herd. This year, too dry to properly feed them, so dry that it burned quickly. So I'm, I'm looking for a place to put them. I, start, I can't keep them here long. But even looking out over all the devastation, a silver lining as that lost lone goat was found and nearly corralled by Miller, Rossi, and our news crew. Now both Miller and Rossi say they are grateful that there were no injuries from the smoke rider fire. Here at the Hermosa fire, they're saying the same thing. There have been no injuries. We want to keep it that way throughout the night because that's how long crews are going to be here at minimum. Now, they've also had about 45 people voluntarily evacuate because of this fire. So if you'd like to evacuate overnight, if you feel the need to do so, you can go to the First Baptist Church of Wimberley. Quita, Brian. So glad to hear nobody's been hurt and everyone needs to just stay safe. Mike Marut reporting for us near Wimberley. Mike, thank you.